Hello everyone, Kuchu for the Win here, and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, where today I want to talk about the Mythic Tiers and some of the events that we have that go on on a week-to-week uh, -week basis, pretty much, right? So we're mostly going to be looking at the um, Assault Battle Military Might here right now, because that's the only one we got, and the first thing we have to realize is these Mythic Tiers are very, very difficult. If we see it's recommended for gear level 12, 7 stars, mods, right, all the all the workings, okay? So these are geared towards veteran players, right? People with high investment into their characters, into their, um, into all their characters and whatever, okay? So let's look at the rewards, okay? So right here, it looks like there's a lot of possibilities, right? We can get several different character shards. If I'm not mistaken, you get two different character shards you get shards for two different characters not two character shards that'd be a little kind of weird but you get character shards for two different characters and then i think you end up with some blueprints okay and you can also have the um possibility of getting some ship ability mats and some ship training droids okay and it's the same for every single tier until we scroll over to the mythic tier where we've only got two omega mats which that's all you're getting. Obviously, you get like a first-time reward for doing the Mythic tier, but that's really the most value you're going to get out of it because it's usually like a Zeta mat, maybe like a good chunk of credits. So um, there's obviously going to be value from doing the first one, but in the long run, there's not too, too much value. I know Mega Mats are important, but only getting two from this very difficult event just seems a little lackluster. And if we look at the Mythic tier for, like, the Legendary events, because they also have Mythic tiers as well, they're not giving out Omega Mats. If I'm correct, they're just giving out mods, maybe some gear, right? So it's a little better in that sense um, if they're giving something out like that. But in most cases, the mods that you get from these events, it's kind of RNG whether or not you're going to get something decent. And... Nine times out of ten, you're not, because that's just how RNG is, or at least that's how it is for me, okay? So that's one question I want to ask. Like, are these Mythic tiers really worth the time and investment to go through, right? Because, uh, once I, once again, they are geared for veteran players and players with a large collection, okay? Um, so let's go into this. So if we notice real quick, okay, so Han has his shoot first. So he's already got 100% turn meter, which means he's starting off right out the gate. If we look, these all have 50% turn meter right from the get-go, which is a common theme you'll see in a lot of these Mythic Tier events. Okay, um, A lot of your enemies are going to start out with either 50% or even 100% turn meter. I believe the Daring Droid uh, Mythic Tier, they start out with 100% turn meter. right? And it's kind of what is called artificial difficulty. Right, so the developers can't really do too, too much um, when it comes to um, making it more difficult because you'd have to change a lot with how the game works. Um, and it might, I, I don't know, there's just, they have to create a, diff, a different way to make it more difficult, if you know what I mean. I'm not, I'm not really sure what words I'm trying to find here, but... Um, they, they have to use these kind of tricks and unfair advantages for the enemy team because they can't just make better AI, essentially. Um, but we're going to we're gonna go through this. I'll, I'll come back when I get to, I think it's round four, um, because I want to show a little bit of strategy for uh, the, mythic the mythic tier of this particular um, assault battle. So we'll be right back. Okay, here we are. We're going into round four. So here's kind of the thing you got to keep in mind. Okay, don't hit Krennic, right? Just just avoid it. Avoid hitting Krennic whenever possible, right? So you want to try to stop the Death Troopers as much as you possibly can because they are going to give you the most trouble, okay? So um, we want to ability block a lot of these guys. Uh, we're going to stun him, which is really good because they're going to lose their um, taunt after they take a turn. So we'll have to make sure we let them have a turn so that they do lose that. So 
Um, let's just this one's this one's getting close to death, so we're gonna focus him down a bit. I think that's gonna be our best bet. Oh, we lost all the buffs. Okay, now we can go after the death trooper. There we go. Now we can focus on these guys. Okay, so you wanna you wanna try to focus down the death troopers because they're if they uh, if they start going off, you're just kind of screwed. Uh, just being f quite honest there. Right, uh, I'm gonna need some protection here soon because I'm like running out. We're gonna remove your some turn meter there uh, and stun you. Might as well. Okay, Krennic's dead, so we don't have to worry about him. Uh, so as we transition to the next round, I just wanna right right before we cut again, I just wanna make this known as well. Right, once again, starting off full turn meter with Han here. They already have half turn meter so this is going to be probably a common theme throughout the rest of this event so uh, we'll be back once we get to the final wave okay so here we go we're going into the final encounter and let's notice turn meter okay still about 50 percent all right so um let's see who do we want let's stun thrawn because i don't want to have to deal with him right now um can we stun nope we cannot all right, well, we didn't die, so that's good. Um, I need to get rid of all your turn meter, please. Um, we'll put everyone under smoke screen and keep good old uh, Ben up there. We need, to, we need to try to make sure we don't get the dots going on because that's where we that's where we kind of fall apart is when, when Darth Vader starts putting his damage over times on everybody, we kind of just fade out all right so as we can see <laughs> we've got a lot kind of going on and it's actually really easy with Chewbacca I'm not gonna lie um, man Chewie's just a beast <laughs> wow we we got we got rid of all three of those so I mean if, if you're looking at this it doesn't really seem that difficult it's more of an endurance run uh, just make sure you can get to the final tier. But this is kind of ridiculous. I've never had it this easy. Thank you, Chewie. <laughs> Bounty Hunters is the best investment you can make, guys. No joke. All right, but look. Eight, eight rounds of just, like, going through stuff, and all you get is two Omega Mats. You know, it's... It is what it is. I mean, we can only, we can only do so much, but... I don't know. Uh, let's see. Can we? Will it show us? Um, what are our rewards here? Um, yeah, whatever we get for the mythic tier is probably not that good either for this one. But um, we can revisit it if you want. Just let me know what you guys think. Uh, plus, we got Galactic Bounties one coming soon, which is really nice. All right. But uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what you think about the mythic events. Do you think they're kind of unnecessarily fair because I mean let's be honest they're they're creating difficulty by making unfair situations we didn't get to see it but in that one particular Darth Vader still gets his leadership ability right so the damage over times don't go away until Darth Vader dies they just keep coming back um, and I'm sure Thrawn probably gets his leader too and then there's three royal guards and yada 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 but like I said let me know what you guys think and um just let me know whatever you guys want to see. I'll try to do what I can, but thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.